Hello traders, uh, today is the end of September 2010, the 30th of September 2010 and I have here the hourly chart of gold, the precious metal gold, the spot gold, okay, daily spot of gold, okay, and right here, gold has been sold on the hourly chart here and it went down big, big time, okay, if you sell it at 1313, okay, you take a nice profit in this region of at uh, one three zero four okay on this uh, hourly chart a very nice profit fast 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 okay in two hours time because we are expecting to sell this gold today but as you can see london was open in this uh, region here eight okay eight o'clock london time where are you it's here this candle here okay as you can see the price was rising up okay and then hit this uh, high of uh, yesterday the high if the price in the uptrend okay you have to watch the high of the previous day okay and then uh, right there it hit the high of the previous day okay which is a kind of resistance level but as you can see even though it hit the high of the previous day the price was still in inside the bollinger band right here you see I inside the Bollinger Band uh, 50 volatility too. That's what I'm talking to you. You must look for opportunity to sell better place like a smart trader at the edge of the upper Bollinger Band on the hourly chart for day trading. Okay, on the edge of the upper Bollinger Band uh, 50 volatility too for a daily chart for swing traders. Okay, and also on the upper band of the Bollinger Band 50 volatility too on the weekly chart for position trading. So as a day trader, we watch this hourly uh, chart, the Bollinger Band 50 volatility too. If you are looking for opportunity to sell, the best play is uh, at the edge or outside. Even if you pop outside the band, you must not just use the fact that the price went to the upper Bollinger Band, but you must have your signal, okay? As a TSTW24 traders, we have our signal, okay? So you must recognize your signal and now plot your entry point. We were looking for opportunity to sell so as the market opened here london was open here the, you will look at the previous day see if there are resistance around the the first resistance to look for is this one here as you can see when the price approaches this level here the price is still inside the bolivia band so this is a trap that's what i call a very dangerous place to sell right here because you see the upper band is right here but if you want to sell here at least have your stuff outside it's a the, if you are inside the band be busy scalping okay be busy scalping on five minutes 10 minutes or 15 minutes that's the best plan to do your thing following the price inside the, the band okay if you want to sell we want to sell like professional traders the professional traders are smart traders they want to sell at an expensive place which is outside the band even okay so you see the price cross this level now okay if you can see some people sold it here that's why we have these two reddish candles here as you can see some people sold it here exactly there because they knew that they should sell okay but look what's happened this candle look kick them out if they did not take their profit they will lose money here because this of this candle here because the smart money that's what i'm saying to you the smart money always want to sell at the top the most expensive place near the upper band or the hourly chart very important for day trading and exactly there they kick it out but you don't just sell because it approaches here as you can see but some courageous traders came in and truly truly sold it but uh, i won't enter here because this candle here is just plain bullish candle you don't just sell <laughs> a plain bullish candle you wait for sign of weakness so you will draw this horizontal line here that i have here which is this level here waiting for the price if you because it cross a movie which people consider as a breakout if it come back again and cross below it you will sell straight away and exactly there as this candle here this red one people start selling it i was watching it carefully you watch it watch it watch it. you don't sell you wait if you cross this one okay you may switch to uh, a lower time frame like uh, 15 minutes okay to have uh, a nice entry point right there after this candle this 50 minutes now after this candle here on the 50 minute chart it came back and closed above below it you can see it, this uh, blue this bearish candle cancel completely this green one the 15 minute chart okay it cancel in fact all the blah 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 here okay 
So this is the horizontal line. He went above it, considered as a breakout. Now he turned around and closed below it very bearishly. Not just close below it. It must be a bearish close. If this is truly bearish candle. Yes or no? It's truly bearish. So it gives us confidence to sell now. Sell here, place your stop here, right there. Okay? And you see what happened? It just went down big time. So this is why you do. Because the candle on the hourly chart does not give you straight away. Okay? Right here, this candle, when it went above it, the top of the hour, it closed above it. Very bullish. A lot of bull will try to buy here. Only you start seeing the price going down. Now, you don't want to sell on top here because this is your reference point, this uh, level here. If if this level so is uh, truly a support level, it must hold the price. But if it fell, you must sell. That's what I call a failure of a signal is the opposite signal. I repeat, a failure of a signal is the opposite signal. Okay, so right now, when we were expecting to sell, we were keeping our eyes wide open. The price going up, you do not just sell, you follow the price till the price itself tells you to sell. And right there on the 15 minute chart, that's why you play multiple time frame, changing time frame, okay, to see clearly the same thing in different time frame. Okay, and right here is confirmed to you on this 15 minute chart. You will sell pressing your stop loss above here. This is what I call a high probability trade. Okay, with excellent risk reward ratio. And when we look at that, boom, 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 down. That's the way you want to have it fast and quick and nice. Okay, you don't want to trade it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you want to get it right. Okay, so this is about okay, uh, how you can time your trade carefully okay and to maximize your profit this video is titled a trade gold like a pro gold is a very volatile stock and i did some excellent video the weekend and, we had, and i was telling you that we were expecting gold to pull back a healthy pull back to the 38 percent fibonacci retracement level if you haven't watched my video that i did uh, last weekend you may go and watch them about gold or all the rest of it so you will know exactly what is happening on this uh, uh, chart here. The signal is one thing, and the entry point is the most important thing. This is about gold. Uh, yesterday night, we were expecting to sell, and exactly that, the market validate our homework. If it did not validate our homework, we will just keep following the price. We will not f impose our homework on the price itself. The price is the leader. I hope you learned something from this video that you put into practice and trade like a pro. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. If you want to join us, you need to go to www.stochasticmagdi.com okay, and get your copy of the TSTW24 before it is too late. Thank you.